Welcome to Rap Shot, where we talk movie and TV appreciation, theory, and filmmaking. I have a four-year-old, so I often suffer from CTSS, Children Television Stockholm Syndrome. When she was younger, she loved what I would call toddler to mazepam, shows like Moon and Me or In the Night Garden, which are sort of like fever dreams come to life. Yes, my name is Eagle Eagle. Eagle, 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 Eagle. Yes, my name is Eagle Eagle. When she got older, thank Christ, she moved on to other TV programs. And it might be lockdown talking, but there's a lot of awesome kids TV out there. Kiri and Lou is a particularly lovely animation from our New Zealand cousins, featuring the voice of Flight of the Concords, Jermaine Clement. It's very relaxing and very funny. And then we come to the mother of all kids television, the cultural phenomenon that is Bluey. Now, I appreciate kids' films and TV shows, but I'm aware they're not really made for me. I'm not like one of those adult Disney weirdos. But even after watching the first two seasons many, many, many times, I can still say with confidence that Bluey is one of the greatest kids' TV shows of all time. Congratulations, you are a winner. And I'll give my reason why shortly. Normally, each episode of Bluey revolves around the titular six-year-old character and her four-year-old sister, Bingo, as they make up games, usually roping in their enthusiastic parents to play along with them. The format, animation, style, performances, and story writing is just all top-notch. For instance, you don't have adult men and women playing five- and six-year-olds. Apparently, they enlisted children of some of the show's crew to give it a really authentic, non-performative experience. And it really shows. And now here's why I think Bluey is one of the greatest TV shows of all time. The way it tackles and presents its themes. While a lot of episodes are just pure fun and silliness, many Bluey episodes, like children's television in general, do tend to revolve around the two main girls learning a lesson about themselves and the world around them. From a storytelling filmmaking perspective, what we're talking about here is the theme of the episode. I've borrowed and pinched some words to create this definition as a universal concept, idea or philosophy that drives a piece of art. For instance, the theme of the Shawshank Redemption can be a translation of the famous quote, get busy living or get busy dying, to if you don't commit to your life and enjoy yourself and the people around you, you're wasting it and might as well be dead. The stronger episodes of Bluey, or any film or TV show in that matter, I think, are usually ones that represent the theme in a subtle and nuanced way, allowing the audience to arrive at the conclusion naturally. Let's look at the episode of Daddy Drop-Off from Season 2. It's Dad's turn to drop the kids off at kindy and school, and even though each game and joke makes them potentially later, he entertains every fun distraction. You know it's Daddy Drop-Off this morning. Right, kids! Daddy Drop-Off! We are not going to be late this time, huh? Hi! At the end of this episode, Bingo's playing lets her bump into a nervous new kid at kindy, Leela. Look at this soul-destroying sweet moment at the end of the episode as Dad winds up Bingo for one last game and send her spinning into kindy. Hey, can you wind me back up, please? Wind, 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 wind. <laughs> Bingo is my friend now. And I hope we're friends forever and ever and ever. This, this is why I am often crying at a 4.55 on a Tuesday. It's the perfect example of the show, don't tell approach, visually telling us how playing has such a positive impact. What we have here in just five minutes of television is a wonderful exploration of a theme that I would sum up as playing isn't just fun, it's vital to building funny, creative and warm human beings and that their love of play can have an impact that lasts a lifetime. Bluey is all about the importance of play. I'd say that the overall theme for Bluey as a series is something like playing is a vital part of growing up for kids, summed up in this scene from the trampoline episode. What? I don't have a job. Yeah, you do. Really? What is it? Making up games. But making up games is more important than you think. Okay, Dad. 
From an audience perspective, Bluey is a breath of fresh air, a true delight of great quality, and a strong and nuanced approach to morals for kids. From a filmmaker or a story appreciator, it shows that there's still always room to approach themes in a fresh and unique way, and that the longer, more subtle route is often the most satisfying. Thanks for watching.